Yo, what is up guys? Ultra Balls back with another Snake Draft semifinal game. Uh, this time we have a UU game between Pearl and Teal. Uh, looking quickly at the teams before we go into the replay. Um, see, Pearl brings a Mega Aggron team. I'm assuming either going to be Scarf, uh, Scarf Shandy or Scarf uh, Hydreigon. The other one will be a wall breaking set, either like Life Orb or like Specs, something like that. Uh, could be like a setup Zygarde Dog, could also be a like a banded one, we'll see. Defensive, uh, defensive chestnut, and of course, spinner in tentacruel. And then Teal has a team, I assume this is going to be, uh, let me see, it's probably Megalodia looking at the team with something like Scarf, uh, Scarf Crook. Seems to make the most sense. Um, or it could be like Rocks Crook, Scarf Lottie, if it's not uh, Megalotti, but uh, Megalotti is just so broken, I feel like you should take advantage of that. <laughs> Probably Z move Cobalion. I guess the like the Koba could also have rocks. Uh, it could also be double dance. So we should see. We shall see as we get into the game. So that will just hop into the replay. So we see Sylveon a lead against the Chestnut. So Pearl of course is going to want to switch out here. I think the two safest switches uh, are Agron and Tentacruel. Uh, he probably will want to go Agron because he gets his Mega off and also will get his rocks up. So. If Teal, Teal could double if he wants to on to the uh, Aggron, like double into Rotom because he's not going to want to take a burn on the Aggron. Uh, I, I, I could potentially see that play. Uh, looks like we're having some connection issues. Uh, hopefully this, this all works out. I, I know it does because I already see that the video is like 15 minutes long. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it goes Rotom on Tentacruel. Like I was going to say, Rotom would have covered the Aggron too, so it covered both. So that was... Yeah, fine, but yeah, like I was saying, the, the Rotom play was fine. It, it did cover both plays that Pro would make. So now we can Volt out here. I'd assume you go to Sylveon here, or you could, if you're afraid of a spike going up, you could go into like Lottie and defog it away. If it is like a defog set, it goes Tentacruel. Oh, yeah, of course. He's spinning on Tentacruel. What am I talking about? Yeah, he's. Yeah, so Cruel is fine because this thing's burned. It's not going to do any damage. You could just free spin. You could come in and free spin every time if you wanted to on the Chestnut. Uh, but he just, he tries to catch something with a burn, probably like the Zygarde. Like if he, if he was expecting Hydreigon, there's, I mean, Skull doesn't do too much. I would have just spun. He's probably expecting him to try to get in like Zydog or something. Uh, so now we see Aggron come out on the, on the rapid spin. I think Teal's best play is just to go into Rotom again. Like Rotom's like just hard walls this thing pretty much. Uh, you could throw out Wisps or Volts. And so I think that's Teal's play for sure. Yeah, go Rotom, and uh, Pearl's just going to get the rocks up. Yep, exactly. Um, the problem is, like, Tentacruel... Like, Tentacruel, because, he, like, Pearl has, like, a hazard stack, sort of, like, offense t sort of team here. The problem is, like, with the uh, with the Chestnut being burned, like, the Cruel could always come in and just spin on it. So he's not going to be able to keep up his, his, uh, his spikes if Teal plays it well. Uh, so now that we see a burn, I think you just always go Sylveon here. So if I'm Pearl, I'd probably double into, like, Aggron. Um, because Teal's not going to let this take a huge take a huge hit for no reason. So, like, I think his only play is, like, hard Syl or, uh, Sylveon. So, yeah, if I'm Pearl, I'm just... Or, yeah, if I'm Pearl, I'm doubling here into, um, into Aggron. The thing is, it doesn't get you too many places, because then Rotom just comes back in. But, I mean, I think that would I would definitely make that play. Teal, oh man, Teal got the wrong avatar. Yeah, that shit always sucks. I hate when that happens. Uh, so yeah, he just dark pulses. Um, yeah, I don't really like that play too much. Like I, he had no reason to stay in there with the Rotom. Because um, Rotom beats like half the team. Now he gets to wish up the Rotom right now too. So and there's not really much anything Pro could do to stop that. Unless this thing has like Dragon Tail or Roar or some bullshit. Okay, so he actually tries to wish up the Tentacruel. Oh, uh, that's fine too. Live on one percent. Damn, that sucks. That sucks for Pearl a lot. Um, so now we go into Rotom. So that actually, that that wish pass actually didn't really work out for Teal. I actually don't know if that Tentacruel gained like anything back um, because it lost sixty from Earthquake and it took Rocks, and then it got back. Like I don't know how much it gets back. I mean, I know Sylveon. Well, I don't know what Sylveon's HP stat is. I'm not sure. But I thought he should have just went Rotom there anyway. I mean, I don't think he needed to try and force the Tentacruel heal. Um, especially when this thing could run Earthquake. This just seemed a little risky. For, I think Rotom would have been fine. Yeah, Rotom gives Pearl so much issues. Oh my god. Alright, so now what do we see? Vol yeah, Volt on the Hydreigon. And now you could either go... 
you know by this damage, or we saw, yeah, this is Life Orb, uh, Hydreigon, right? So I think you could go into Lottie here uh, if you have Dragon Move. But if you're like a stored power set, it probably can't touch it. You can also go Cobalion. Cobalion actually puts a lot of, yeah, yeah, Cobalion puts a lot of pressure on Pearl's team. Uh, he doesn't have a lot for it at all. He has, uh, okay, so he goes Tentacruel. Okay, so it is Rocks Cobalion. The thing is, um, okay, so Tentacruel, um, it, it is like, uh, he has two mods that resist both the Cobalion and Stabs, right? But the thing is, they're both worn down easily. So that's why I'm saying he doesn't have great Cobalion answers because both Tentacruel and, um, and Chandelure, neither of them, first of all, neither of them have good Fizz Def, so they don't appreciate a t taking, a t like, physical attacks, but they also don't have very, like, reliable recovery either. So they get worn down in it, like this Cobalion, but we saw it as rocks though. So I was going to say, if it was like a double dance set, it could be a huge threat late game. Um, but assuming it's like Swords Dance, two attack rocks, he's going to be able to offensively check it with, um, with Chandelure if it's Scarf, which I'm assuming it is now that we saw Hydreigon is not, and uh, Zydog as well. So we hit the Toxic on the Rotom, that's really important for Pro, because like I said, this Rotom looked nearly unbeatable. Um... We're gonna go here. Wait, okay, he goes into Chestnut. I thought he'd just go, yeah, because Hydreigon's getting really low, I think. Um, and he goes into Sylveon, and now he's forced back into Aggron. So Teal could just throw off Hyper Voices. So like, it's weird because like um, Teal, like I feel like T like uh, Pearl's team would really, really appreciate some sort of like Wish Pass because like Aggron and Aggron and Tentacruel are two Mons that are like good at what they do, but they get worn down like super easy. Alright, so we see Exchange of Rocks here. He actually goes... Yeah, so Teal goes into Cobalion when I thought that... Uh, I mean, yeah, that was a fine play too. I thought he would just go into Sylveon and try and trip, chip away at the Aggron, but... Alright, so we see it's Swords Dance, Cobalion, Swords Dance, Rocks, and... Uh, yeah, like I said, probably Double Attack, probably Fight Z. But, um... Yeah, what I was saying is, like, Aggron and Cruel are both good at what they do, but they get worn down super easily. So I feel like his would be the team that would really appreciate, like, some sort of cleric. Being able to wish those two mons up uh, would be really nice for him. But right, So Cabalion here could just go for, like, I it could go for Iron Head. Because, like, Tentacruel can't even do much back. I mean, it could Skull Burn, and it probably will burn. That did no sorts of damage at all. So he just rapid spins. Uh, the thing is, if this is some sort of Z move, it, it's probably in range of it now or close. Uh, that, that looks to be super fizz def though. If it's, that only did 30, that's actually crazy. Yeah, that's like super, yeah, that's super fizz def. I mean, I know it just got naturally good spin def, so you, uh, depending on what you're trying to check, you don't need to like invest too heavily in that. Uh, but still, yeah, that's like full on fizz def, I believe. Because, like, Cobalion's weak, but still, it's at plus two, so... I I'm surprised it only did 29. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I don't know, like... That's, um, Pearl doesn't have a really good play into Cobalion, except for, like, try and burn it. <laughs> I don't know what his other play is. <laughs> you could go, like, hard Chandelure and then scare it out, because, like I said, I think the Chandelure's Scarf. But that's also... I don't, I don't know if I'd want to go hard into Chandelure here. Okay, he does go hard to Chandelure. Was it? Is it Fight Seed? Oh no, it's Corkscrew Kai. Just died. He just crit it and died. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. That might have died anyway. Like I mean, I don't know the calc, but Chandelure has bad Fizz Def, and um, I mean that's a that's a plus two. So like, think about if like Cobalion was using like a neutral move. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a resistant move, but he's at plus two. So like. To, to think that Chandelure would just die to, like, a neutral Z-move from Cobalion doesn't seem that out of the out of the question. So I'm not sure if that crit mattered or not. Like I said, I wouldn't have... I don't think I'd have risked going hard Chandelure. Um, I would have just sacked... I would have just, like, sacked him on, like, Cruel or something. Alright, so it goes Crook. Uh, 2,000 arrow... That does jack shit damage. What the fuck? Like, does Jolly to Adam, it really does make that much of a damage difference, right? Damn, that's crazy. 32... That's why, like, Zyd Zygarde's, like, bad. Zydog is bad. That's because, like, Zygarde has, like, it has to run Adamant for the power, but you can't run Adamant on Zydog because you miss out on too many important speed tiers. But, yeah, I mean, like, in, it's, like, all Crooks run, like, offensive. That's why I find it surprising that that shit only did 32. That means that it's definitely, like, not banded. It's, like, it has to be some sort of Dragon Dance, so... 
And like I said, the way that this is playing out, I think this is probably Scarf... Yeah, it is, okay. I was going to say, I was just about to say, I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Crocodile, just because the fact that, um... The Lottie is probably Mega, and Crook is, like, the only other option for a Scarf... We already saw that there's rocks on the Cobalion, so this thing wasn't isn't, like, a, a rock set either, so it's probably just Scarf. Uh, and based on that damage, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Scarfed. Uh, and now we see the Dragon Dance come out, so... Teal might want to save this, but I think, like, unless he wants to make, like, some sort of Jesus play, I don't think, I, yeah, you could just sack a Mon that you don't really need anymore, um, which would be, like, okay, so he goes Sylveon expecting what, like, D Dra is it D-Drake? Oh, dude, Teal is, like, what, Teal is like, the best of all time, holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> you actually see me saying that, seeing, saying that in the Smog Tours chat on the side see that I was actually watching this game live so spoilers I already know what happens <laughs> so you might think I'm just like yeah you might think I'm being like Jesus calling every single turn but um yeah I I'll let you in on a quick little secret this game I actually know what happens in this game so uh but yeah that, that was like a crazy play by Teal but that's not even I don't even know if I would have had the balls to make it because if he doesn't Z move like you still want the Sylveon for sure to deal with Hydreigon otherwise that becomes like a huge ass problem so yeah, that, but that was like a Lord play there. Uh, so he roosts on 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 Volt. Yeah, I, I feel I feel like Teal's just so good, right? He's like in he's in Pearl's head right now. Cause like I, I don't even know if he had to make that play. He could have just went hard Sylveon anyway. Uh, unless uh, yeah, there, no, there's no way. Like they would have done negative damage. Fire Blast even from Life Orb does negative damage to Sylveon. So um, we see the protect here. Get back some lefties. Now we go back into Rotom, I assume. And. He goes to Cruel, wanting to get the spin off, uh, and he's just going to sacrifice this, I guess, to get the spin. Uh, but I mean, that doesn't really do any. He's going to skull. Okay, he does spin, but I was going to say like, if if like Pearl expected the spin, he could have just stayed in and killed the Tentacruel because like this thing, Dagron gets rocks up super reliably on Sylveon, which has to come in to check the Hydreigon every time. So. Uh, yeah, so you see Hyper Voice. See, the thing is, this is what I was saying about, like, it'd be nice if, uh, Pearl had some sort of wish pass for these mons, because, like, the Cruel and the, and especially the Aggron are just getting worn down really fast. It's gonna be hard for, uh, it's gonna be hard for him to keep up with, uh, with Teal. Uh, because, like, all of Teal's mons are staying, like, relatively healthy, where his are all getting worn down, like, chipped down. So eventually I think he's just gonna lose this in the long run. And Teal's playing super solidly. He's played really well this entire game. So, probably see, okay, double... To his own Tentacruel, uh, either trying... I'm assuming he thought the Aggron was coming out so he could try and get a spin-off on that. Uh, but instead, he just dies to, like, what could have been a speed tie. We don't know. Actually, we saw that um, Pearl's... A nice play, keeping the Tentacruel low, pursuing with the Crook. Uh, knowing that he has a bunch of good switch-ins in the back. But yeah, so uh, we saw that uh, Pearl's Crocodile... Got Black Sludge before, um, before Teals, so it was, it could have still been a speed tie, but it wouldn't have surprised me if, if Pearls is just naturally faster. Uh, and then we see a Heavy Slam onto the Sylveon, who's protect, protecting to get back some lefties, we go back into Rotom, and we had that nice Heavy Slam bot. Uh, I think we could see, maybe, I don't know if you want a Pain Split yet, but you could Pain Split on the Switch. Or he just volts, yeah, I mean, there's no reason to Pain Split because the Chestnut is super low, right? And, um... He goes, I'm assuming that Pearl goes Chestnut, because if he goes Hydreigon on a Pain Split, that's bad, because he needs to keep this Rotom low. At the same time, though, like, Sylveon is, like, a huge, like, Sylveon's a huge problem for Pearl, because it comes in on, it comes in every time on Hydreigon and Chestnut, and, like, he doesn't have great ways of breaking it. So he goes to Tentacruel, that takes zero damage to him. Tentacruel's so fat, dude. Pat Lop special. Uh, we're probably going to see a Scald, or just Toxic out on the Sylveon. I'm surprised he'll let this get uh, toxic but now he could probably try and pass this into Rotom, depending on how much Skull does. Um, might be a roll to kill. I know Rotom's really weakened, but uh, this is a good chance to try and get the Rotom healthy again. So I think that's what Teal's going to be going for here. And um, but yeah, like I said, the Tentacruel took, or I'm surprised that Teal stayed in to throw up the Wish uh, to get Sylveon Toxic because this thing was so good in checking the Aggron and and the Hydreigon. So we see the Skull. Is it able to pick up the kill? No, it is the expert expert EVs on Mr. Teal's part. He never, never comes unprepared to a game. 
Uh, li another live on one percent, second one of the game, which is unfortunate for Pearl. I mean, really, really like lucky for Teal. I mean, it's not like luck. It, it it is luck, but it's not like hex or you know what I mean. Like it's not like it's not unfair. That's just shit that happens. Um, it just it's those things where if those rolls go the other way though, the game could be looking kind of different. So uh, it does suck for Pearl. So, I don't know if you're EV'd for everything I throw at you. It's crazy. Two one percent uh, lives. That is good. That had to be some sort of roll too. I mean, the thing was only at like 13%. Uh, but now the Rotom's healthy again, so it's going to be really bad for uh, Pearl's Agron. And, uh, yeah. And I guess Chestnut. But uh, Chestnut was never doing anything to this. Uh, never doing anything this game anyway now that it's burned. So I think what Teal could just do is SD up here probably. Because I think Cobalion just wins at this moment actually. Because Cobalion's the, the fastest mon left. And it's just going to SD and kill everything. And even if the chestnut has like drain punch, which I'm assuming it does, like it's either usually drain punch or wood hammer. It's not gonna do any sorts of damage anyway because it's burned. If even if it was drain. Yeah, so he seeds them up. I'm assuming it's like with like seeds, spikes, and could be like double stab. It could be one attacking move and then either synth or synth. It could be spiky shield. Uh, it could be a lot of things like chestnut. It's it's pretty one-dimensional in what it does, but you could run a lot of different moves on it. Uh, Kobali on there, like now the chestnut, he definitely should sack chestnut um, because well you have to sack Amon here. I, he loses. I mean yeah, Pearl loses anyway. But like the only way to not like de like lose to the Kobali on the spot is to definitely not go hard into Tentacruel because this was the only Mon that could uh, live a hit. So it was you had to like. He was probably afraid of SD again, I guess, but like I think what you had to just do there was sack the te or sack the chestnut, and then try and scald burn with the tentacle. But like I, at that point, it wouldn't matter because everything would have been way too weakened. Um, Teal was just Teal was gonna it was in a phenomenal spot uh, anyway at this point, so that's gonna be definitely game over. Uh, the Cobalion wins right now, and I think that we're s about to see that Pearl actually uh, realizes that too, and he's going to call it. Call it quits and forfeit. Um, but yeah, I get like a, now everything dies. Like close combat, close combat, close. It's you click close combat four more times. You kill all four mons. So that was a good game. Teal played extremely, extremely well. Uh, a couple of those like one percent lives though were kind of unfortunate for Pearl. So I yeah I do feel for him there. So but either way, good game. Uh, UU definitely not my favorite tier, but it's definitely an interesting one and. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the coverage. If you did, leave my man Doc some likes, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.